All right. right, guys, here's what y'all been waiting on. We are doing the governor removal on the 212 pressure. Well, I hope you've been waiting on it. I've been talking about it a lot. Nobody's waiting on it. Yeah. Nobody cares. But we're doing it anyway. Yeah. We have 25 subscribers. <laughs> All 25 of you bastards. None of you have one of these. But if you did, you'd know how to take the governor out. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. I don't know. Let's get to it. All right, so before you go into the crankcase, you got to go up here and disconnect the governor. <laughs> That's staying in. Keep going. <laughs> Before you go into the great case, you have to take a lot of stuff up off up top. First things first, take all this air house off. Uh, air house. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. This piece right here that I can't say right now. Take it off. This it's two. Piece. <laughs> it's two ten millimeter bolts. Or is it eight millimeter? Those are ten. Okay, there's ten millimeter bolts. Slides right off, no biggie. Two Phillips head screws in the side. Actually, I didn't take them out. That was unnecessary. Then we gotta take the gas tank off. And then we'll take the gas tank off. And come back here in a second when that's off. And blow smoke up its ass. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this governor arm off. Comes off pretty simple. You got a 10 millimeter bolt. And you got this clip that comes out. So first things first, the bolt. Uh, we don't need that anymore, but we'll hang on to it. What am I gonna do with that? Spread it, right? I'm gonna take the clip loose, but the hammer. Behind you. Who put that hammer on the ground? Joe, can I beat on your new screwdriver with a hammer? Wow. All right. All right. Disconnect your springs. By the way, disconnecting your springs is a lot easier once you've taken the governor loose. You don't have to. You don't have to bend them in case you want to use them in future applications. Really? There we go. Bam, governor arm removed. All right, so we got both springs off, both rods off. And you know, just, just a tip guys, you know, you're probably never gonna use this again, but you never know. You never know when you might make something out of that. Or, you know, use that, we're gonna use that spring here in a minute to help be a return spring for our throttle. So, okay, all that's removed, and that's all we're gonna do right there for right now. We'll come back to this a little bit later, setting your throttle up and all that stuff. Pull this clip out. All right, now we're gonna go into the crankcase. Take the six, take the six bolts off from the crank cover. Make sure you take the keyway out first or you can damage the seal. Yeah. Normally you'd have to give this crankcase a little tap with the hammer, but we've already busted it loose, so it's gonna slide right off. Make sure you don't. And we're gonna save it over here, not the damage it. Make sure you don't lose that. And also, make sure you put your bolts in a pickle jar. Or magnetic bolt tray, with, well, you know, whichever. Pickle jar. Can we turn this now? Yeah. All right, you're gonna turn the crankshaft to line it up where you can see right down here. That little plastic clear gear down there is the governor. We're taking that out. Yeah, we're going to take all that out. Just so you know, in case you didn't get the video description. Do you know, do you know how to take that out? Yeah, I know how to take that out. Very important, we actually dropped one and we found it by, hap by happenstance. Do not lose these little dowels. They come out really easy. There's two of them. Okay little tidbit there. Now, you're gonna pull the governor arm dealio thing out. It helps if you take and cut this little bit right here off first. 
because it's a little bit too long. It ain't fixing to cut that. It is not fixing to cut that. <laughs> the fucking 13 year old broke it and you couldn't. They cut that motherfucker. There's some goddamn wires. Super easy. With your hand. Well, now this should push right out. I've got it a little buggered up, so I might have to knock it out a little bit. I'm really glad you bought these faulty screwdrivers, Joe. Alright. There we go. That's out. That's trash. Alright, if you look down in there, there's a cover right here. And right under there is a little metal clip we're going to take out with a flathead and a hammer. So let's see if I can get that cover off first. Okay, there's your cover. It's got a little washer underneath it. Don't lose it. You don't want shit rolling around in your crankcase. Okay, so getting the clip off of that gear is really difficult. That's what it is right there. It's really hard to get off from around that shaft. You gotta make sure those stay that way and get it off from right there. Every time those will fall in your way and that's gonna be the hardest part about removing this gear. Now we can just grab it out of there. This is the, that, that, that clip right there is the hardest part of go-karting. <laughs> And then that's it. There's the gear. No, that's not it. There is a tiny washer. This is down the gear, here. though. Yes, that's the gear. But there's a, there's one more washer down in there. You have. This to is why out. you want to take it off because some of these parts can come apart and fly off in there. And who wants a governor anyway? Okay, you got to make sure that you get this little washer out also, or else it be bouncing around inside of there. The next biggest thing is you got to make sure that you put the cam gear back in we took ours out just so we didn't have it in the way and took the spark plug out also you want to make sure that timing mark is lined up with that little purple dot right there and also make sure you clean it really well before you put all this back together okay so we don't have any gasket maker or gasket silicone or anything like that i've got some copper coat so we're going to spray copper coat on the seals and hopefully it won't leak. If it does, we'll fix it later because we did split it. But we're going to just spray copper coat on these seal surfaces. And it'll be alright. Let it tack up for a minute before you put the gasket on. Make sure it's clean, free of oil or else it's not going to work. So you just want to wipe wipe it off. If there's any on there, take a razor blade, get it off. The cleaner it is, the better, it, better chance of it sealing. Somebody's gonna bitch that I sprayed it inside the motor, but whatever. <laughs> this one here should be done, tacked up a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and stick the gasket on there and press it down. And it's gonna hold your gasket in place. You have it nowhere near the right way. Well, I thought it was on. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what you were doing. Okay. I don't want to question you, Joe. Then. All right, Joe, how should you put your bolts in? Just run them in with the impact. Don't worry about people saying, oh, you should torque that. Oh, you should do a cross pattern. Just tighten you it down. Should. You should do a cross fire. 
If you're worried about it, at least do a cross pattern. If you were going to torque it, if they wanted to torque it at home, what would you torque it to? About 15 foot pounds? No clue. Not even going to lie to you. Don't go more than 15 foot pounds. There you go. There's That's all you have to do to make it not leak. There's Everybody's going to tell you to torque them. You don't have to torque them. Make sure that you plug this hole where the governor linkage was, or else oil will come out of it. You don't want that. We just found a random bolt that was like a self-tapping thread. Put it in there with some gasket sealer and uh, let, it, let it fly. Now we're going to figure out... The if you don't have linkage, a soft tapping screw, what could you use? You can use whatever you want. Figure it out on yourself and on your own. Um, they don't want to figure it out. That's why they're watching us do it, Joe. If you can't figure that part out, you don't need to be taking it apart. Okay? <laughs> so, anyway, now we're going to get some something to control the throttle. Other than it flopping around, so we're going to connect this to this. That way, it'll work properly. Okay. So, we've taken some of the rod that held the governor arm cut it up and put it on the throttle linkage so now it will work better we can hook our go-kart throttle up to it and have better control over it without having to worry about a governor because nobody wants a governor right hell no we want maximum speed we don't want reduce speed <laughs> all right now we're gonna it's got a spring on the throttle right here that returns it into place, but it's not super stout. So I'm going to try and use the spring that came off of it to put back on to give it a little extra return. Because the last thing you want is your throttle sticking. Because that's a bad fucking day. Okay, so we got added an extra return spring and just put a little self-tapping screw underneath the gas tank. Make sure you don't hit the flywheel. Yeah, the it's right there back behind this cover if you hit that it's probably not going to be good so our throttle is working perfect plenty of spring yeah, tension look at, look at the spring plenty of spring tension to bring it back now we're going to put it back up put the air box back together and then we're going to put it on this our drift trike there'll be future videos of it but we're now done with this so why don't you sign out we're done with this, and this is going to be one video, but we're working on this tonight. I'm going to ride this thing tonight. I don't care what Joe's. Joe can go inside and go to sleep. He's going to hear me out here riding around on the drift track. I doubt it. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe for sure. Yeah, we got more, guys. We got 800 views and 23, 24 subscribers. You're seriously slacking. It's one click. Do it. There's going to be a lot of awesome videos coming. I want to point out that we have 800 views on one video. We have more than 800 total views. Yeah. But we'll see you soon. I want to watch this video from a million views.